What's something people don't know about de-extinction? It's not just science fiction anymore. Imagine a world where the woolly mammoth roams the tundra again. Thanks to CRISPR technology inserting mammoth DNA into Asian elephants. Or the passenger pigeon, once darkening the skies in flocks of millions, potentially recreated from preserved DNA. Next up, the thylacine, also known as the Tasmanian tiger. Genetic material from museum specimens could bring this fascinating marsupial back to life. And who could forget the iconic dodo? With DNA from remains and its closest relative, the Nicobar pigeon, it might just waddle back into our world. The Pyrenean ibex, which scientists have already cloned, though it survived only briefly, hints at the possibilities ahead. The great auk, the large flightless bird, could also make a comeback through genetic techniques. Then there's the quagga, a zebra relative, already partially recreated through selective breeding. And the majestic Irish elk, whose well-preserved fossils offer tantalizing DNA for revival, the heath hen with genetic help from prairie chickens, and the colorful Carolina parakeet, potentially hosted by modern parrots, round out our list. But is it all worth it? Ethical dilemmas, habitat restoration and genetic hurdles make de-extinction a complex challenge. Which of these animals do you think would make the biggest impact if revived?